Walk Forward, a miraculous ladybug fanfiction written and narrated by Miro Rose, with artwork for the opening and thumbnail image by 8 Sao So Zero on Twitter and Pixiv. I'll have their Twitter and Pixiv linked in the description box below. If you're new to this channel, hi, it's where I, Mira, that's me, write and narrate miraculous ladybug fanfiction in an audiobook format. This is not a comic, it's an audiobook. If you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and give this video a thumbs up. Please enjoy Walk Forward. Marinette Dupang Chang, getting ready to walk the runway. Are you nervous, my lady? Marinette turned around, smiling as her heart raced. This was a dream. It had to be, right? Do you always feel like jelly for things like this? What do you mean? Adrian leaned in the doorway of the dressing room. You've done tons of stuff with me before, master or not. Yeah, but it was a different kind of nervousness. What do you mean? He stole the seat beside her, crossing his legs as she tried to not stare at him in her design. It's not as if she could casually inform him that her nervousness in events past was from being next to him, her crush, not stage fright. Not only did she find out her partner was her beloved, she also missed the chance to confess her feelings when they found out. Unlike when they had their masks, Adrian didn't profess love and longing for her the same way as when he didn't know who she was. He didn't mean to hurt her, but his lack of over-the-top sweetness toward her ached, even if he... even if she wasn't, like super in love with him. Just, I guess nerves change as you get older. It also helps that my father isn't here. Your father wasn't ever really at these things anyway, was he? Touché. Adrian looked down, and Marinette had to refrain herself from gawking over how long his eyelashes were. But we're here together now, you and I, as partners. Yeah, she tried her best to smile. Partners. It's about time. Are you ready to debut your line, Miss Dupang Jang? Marinette stole a glance at the hand he offered her, grateful to already have blush on. She knew she had talent, even without favoritism, but had she not been the superhero partner of the son of a major fashion guru, she wouldn't be debuting an apparel line before graduating from a program. Well, okay, it wasn't an apparel line per se, but rather a themed event with a runway as the noblesse sipped on drinks that could clear out student debt and made donations throughout the night to whatever charity had the blessing of being featured for the night. Still, it was a major event, and regardless of how she earned the opportunity, she was sure her designs would stand strong against criticism for how she got to be the featured designer of the night. Marinette? Oops, she'd zoned out. Right! Yes! She accepted his hand, hoping he wouldn't notice her goose flesh at the touch. Let's go! Are you nervous? One foot in front of the other, right? Something like that. All you need to remember is, if you don't know what to do, walk forward. Thankfully, the event went on without a hitch. The models walked without incident. Her parents gave big thumbs up as they went about with the catering. And Adrian shared secret, stolen glances with her across the room all night. For once... Marinette found herself able to function and make eye contact with him, which was an unexpected but beneficial side effect that came from reminding herself Adrian was cat noir whenever she got heated. But then there was a moment when Marinette stood on stage to thank the crowd for coming and for their contributions, 
when Adrian slipped his hand into hers for all to see that cemented the night as a dream. She looked up, distracted from her speech, to see him smiling at her, and she remembered why she'd never been able to confess to him in earnest before. Good, uh, good night, she stammered, turning back to the audience. Safe travels. She turned, giving another gracious smile before retreating backstage, all while Adrian followed her. He didn't let go of her hand. My lady? Adrian, what are you... You did great tonight, Marinette. She couldn't look at him. It was too much. Her heart ached on what should be a terribly happy evening, all because she had feelings for a charming boy who wore silly cat ears when fighting evil. Evil that they'd put away together, no less. Thank, thank you. She couldn't make eye contact. Hey, Marinette? Yes? May I kiss you? If it hadn't been fastened with bobby pins, Marinette's prop hat may have fallen straight off. May, may, may you, what? May I kiss you, Adrian repeated. He seemed calm and poised, unlike herself, who had to balance on the umbrella she carried like a cane. Why, um, why do you want to, to, to kiss me? Did she miss something? Was this a prank? Was Chloe secretly filming this from somewhere? My feelings haven't changed for you. He ran a hand through his hair, looking away. He only ran a hand through his hair when he was nervous or embarrassed. Which was it? But I know you don't like it when I bring it up, so... I've been holding back since I found out you were Marinette. I didn't want to risk my relationship with one of my best friends and lose both sides of a precious relationship. I'm... What? I like you, Marinette. A lot. I might even love you, but everyone says that I don't know what I'm talking about when I use that word. But still... I like you. A lot. Like, I want to date you like you. Was the party still going on? Marinette couldn't hear it as she swallowed. Tonight had to be a dream. It had to be. So, what you're saying is... You... Like me? Um, yes... Yes, I am. Adrian looked away again, then down at the floor. Luck isn't a lady tonight, it seems. What? No! I... No? He looked at her then, with an expression she recognized from staring at herself in the mirror over the past two years. Yearning. Fear of rejection. Hope burned out. No, I, uh, you're, you're, well, you're wonderful, and I get it. You, uh, you can, um, you don't have to finish. Adrian, wait! She grabbed his wrist as he turned away. Ladybug, he sighed through his nose looking at the ceiling. Please. With force she didn't know she had, Marinette tugged Adrian across to her, adrenaline pumping rational thought out of the way as she pressed her lips to his, not taking the time to taste the moment or even close her eyes. He stared back at her, and they broke apart, gasping for air. Sorry! Marinette squeaked. She covered her face with her hands. Adrian didn't respond, pressing his hands to his lips as well, stepping back a few paces as he looked at her. 
his face matching the flush of his jacket. Sorry. Talk about the worst kiss ever. Remember what I said? He said, not looking away. About? If you don't know what to do, walk forward. She narrowed her eyes. You just... You just stepped back. Surely it was rejection, right? Oh, come here, Marinette. Adrian reached for her, wrapping an arm around her back as he pulled her face to his. This time, she closed her eyes. Marinette closed her eyes as Adrian, her partner, her crush, kissed her, and she saw fireworks. Wow, she gasped, her hands finding his shoulders. We should have done that sooner. Huh? So, um, events like these are cool and all, but do you want to, I don't know, grab an ice cream together or something? An ice cream? I mean, there's plenty of dessert. Marinette. Adrian laughed and wrapped his fingers around her cheeks. I'm asking you on a date. Oh. Oh! Me? Yes. A date. Yes. She scrunched her face. Why? Because I like you a lot? You do? Marinette, are you seriously playing hard to get right now? What? No, no, I'm not playing anything. Why is it so hard for you to give me a straight answer? Is it the cat ears? Because I'll go put on cat ears if it gets me a proper response. What? No. Reality hit her. A date. With Adrian. As Marinette. Even though Cat likes Ladybug. And she was kind of, sort of, a different person when she had a mask on. No, no, I'll go. Ice cream. Yes, uh, sounds great. Great. She could hear the relief in his voice as he smiled. He was... Nervous? Adrian Agrest. Adrian Agrest was nervous about asking her on a date? Oh, well, that's nice. But you're paying. Adrian's smile flashed into a grin. I wouldn't have it any other way. Come on, let's go. And so, hand in hand, Marinette walked from her dreamlike event to a corner ice cream truck with Adrian Agrest. It was something so simple yet marvelous. The night seemed to sparkle. She was sure Tiki would insist it was the recently replaced street bulb lights. But it was magic to her. It was magic, and the only thing that held them back from it until now was themselves not taking the first step to walk forward. Thank you so much for listening. I hope you enjoyed this one shot. If you'd like more Miraculous Ladybug fanfiction, check out other videos on this channel or click one of these and I will catch one. Ugh. And I will catch you in the next one. If you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe to this channel, hit the bell for notifications and leave a thumbs up. Bonus points if you leave a comment to support the channel by helping the YouTube algorithm. If you don't know what to comment, put walk forward. Bye.